Who's working on the weekend? We are attorneys Alexander and Catalano. Call right now if you need help. Oh yeah, thanks for the coffee. The heavy hitters are all you need. Call 1-800-LAW-1333. Tonight, a packed and opinionated room comes to hear an open and honest conversation. The whole thing is a fiasco. It's repeated, repeated, repeated. and It all comes down to religion, town government, and where elected officials draw the line between the two. If we resign, we give up our freedoms. We have to fight for our freedoms. Which is why Ledger Town Clerk Rose Belforti is running for re-election, even though she won't sign off on same-sex marriage licenses because it goes against her deep religious convictions. She's been on the job for the last decade and says she only signs about seven marriage licenses a year. That's less than one percent of her job. There's certain things that the Bible teaches that I have to obey. It's really just to uh, acknowledge the fact that I have religious freedom and, and there are laws that I can call upon if this does go to court because the Constitution uh, was really, um, you know, supports us in this country for religious freedom. Wells College in Cayuga County hosted the discussion How did you deal with that situation? between Belforti and the man who wants her job. Ed Easter says if the clerk does not want to follow the law, she should step down. It makes me very nervous when members of the executive branch decide to ignore the rule of law. As a public servant, you're there to serve the public. Laws change and situations change and the clerk has to change as well. But Belforti says she shouldn't have to check her religious beliefs at the door when she goes to work. If re-elected, she says the deputy clerk will sign off on every marriage license. Voters in the town of Ledger will decide who will fill that town clerk position in November. Reporting from Wells College tonight, I'm Caitlin Newclough.